Okay, everyone, happy Pride Month from the McClay Clinic. And we just wanted to let everyone know that we are happy to be a positive space where all humans are supported and respected, their loved ones, their families, and hopefully we'll see you at the McLean Clinic and have a great Pride Month. So one of the things that I really want kindergarten kids to know is the private body part names. I'm gonna pull up one of these books to show you how sometimes I have to change books to be current. So the private body parts are as follows. We've got the mouth. Nobody should ask you for a kiss. Like you don't have to kiss someone if you don't want to. We don't put our mouth on anybody's body and nobody should put their mouth on our body. That's just a rule. Just like we cross the street, we look both ways, we wear a helmet when we ride our bike. Uh, the breasts for everybody, everybody has breasts. And then I say to kids that most boys have a penis, but not all, and most girls have a vulva, but not all. So in this book, I changed it right in the book because it is not true that all people who have a vulva identify as a girl. So on social media, the chance of it going viral is very high, particularly in this case when it was about body science, when it was about age four, five age children, and when uh, private body part touching was also involved. So unfortunately, this um, letter, this worksheet that went home, that was then shared on social media, went viral. And who I'm talking and went viral with was the people who are on the far alternative right. These are the same people that don't support LGBTQ. They don't support a trans man being pregnant. They don't support abortion. They support Trump. They don't support vaccinations and all of this kind of stuff. So Thursday night, uh, building one on top of the other to prepare kids to be as safe as humanly possible. The worksheet in question went like this. Some children like to touch their own private parts and some don't. That's a fact. I don't care what nationality you're from, little people touch their private parts in public and part of our job is to, as parents is to remind them not to do that. In my job as a sexual health educator, quite frequently in a kindergarten grade one classroom, I'll have a kid in the middle of my class touching their private parts. So I look up and say, hey friends, if someone's touching their private parts right now, remember we're in a public place. The hand comes out because they got the reminder from me. Then the worksheet says, what places in your home are private? That would be the bathroom or the bedroom. In some places, it's not their bedroom because they may share with three other people. So their only place that they could be alone maybe is in the bath or the shower or somewhere in the bathroom with the door closed. Then it says, draw a picture of the private places where you can touch your penis or vulva if you want to. Draw a picture of a bathroom or a bedroom. Then it says, all families have different rules about masturbation. Now I understand masturbation could be a triggering word for some people, but guess what? That's the science word for touching your private body parts. Then it says, talk to a trusted adult about your family rules. Now friends, from that page, I will tell you what the headline was. Homework assignment, masturbation assignment for four-year-olds. I don't even know what to say.